friends, coming to you today with a requested video. About Christmas of 2015, I did a dish towel kitchen angel. And with it being Christmas time, I made her a Christmas themed using a red dish cloth. Well, I had a subscriber ask if I would do one in a country theme. Usually say on all my videos, I hope this inspires you in some way. And some people just want to see what my take would be on a different theme. So anytime you see my projects and you would like to see me do it in a different way, don't hesitate. I love video ideas and I'll be glad to do it if there's any way possible. So I went to Dollar Tree and with the farmhouse on my mind I wanted to pick something that were those colors and if you're familiar with that you know that they're pretty dull colors and I found this uh, cream and beige and blue striped dishcloth and it just looked kind of farmhouse to me and then they had a set of two hot pads and it's coffee motif on one side but I'm going to be using the solid color chocolate brown on the back side and then you'll need one washcloth so three dollars will make your kitchen angel now you're going to need something to tie up with and since I'm doing farmhouse theme I'm using the jute twine the other ones I usually use ribbon and three rubber bands hot glue and this little kitchen poem. If you don't want to put a little flower or anything on her, you can just tie this little poem on her hands and it will be equally as cute. But I'll have this poem uh, in the description box, but I, all I did was just hot, you know, glue it onto some cardstock. But it says, Kitchen Angel, in your kitchen I'd love to stay to bless and guide you each new day. On you and yours my wings I spread as you prepare your daily bread. So very cute. And now, you know, and if somebody doesn't want to put the kitchen angel, they can always disassemble it. And there you go. It's a nice little three piece gift. So what I need to do now is go ahead and get the towel prepared so I can show you how to fold it up. It seriously takes about five minutes. Okay, I have all my tags and everything pulled off. Now, if you buy your dish towel at the Dollar Tree, this is what you're gonna have to do. And I think most dish towels come tri-folded like this. You're gonna have to open it up and you're gonna have to refold it so that the two long sides will meet in the center. And then you're gonna fold it over so that the top part is actually longer. I would say a good five inches longer, just like that, okay? And the good thing is if you mess up and, it, and her proportions are a little off, you can always take the rubber bands off. It's very forgiving and you just keep playing with it until you get, you know, her little body and arms in proportion. So we're gonna leave it just like this, and then we're gonna move over here to her arms. Her arms are made with the washcloth. Now, a lot of washcloths will have some little decorative stitching or something on it. You're just gonna to have to look at your washcloth and decide which way will work best for you. And so since my stitching is right here, I'm actually gonna roll mine up this way so that it will cover up that stitching so that it's just a solid beige arms like this. And you'll see that what we're what our plan is is to make sure that these flaps are going down when you get ready to place her in your body. All right, so I'm going to open up my dish towel and I'm going to just put it. I'm not putting it where the fold was and fold it back over. Make sure that your dishcloth is longer on one end. So what this basically is, this side right here is going to end up being her head, and this side is her dress. Okay. Now this is going to require the two two of the three rubber bands. We're going to scrunch this up. And like I said, you may have to kind of play around with it until you get her exactly how you want it. But one of the rubber bands is going to be her neck. What you're really doing is just securing the towel. Kind of smooth out the towel over the arms. And then you're going to put one under the arms. And we're going to put a rubber band at her neck and her waist. But I decided that I was going to try something a little different. If you've seen that first video, I didn't do this. But since this is going to be farmhouse themed, I thought about put thought about putting a little burlap apron on her. If you don't have any burlap, you do not have to do this step, but I just thought it would be fun to see if this would work. I just had a little piece of scrap burlap and I thought I would try to catch it in the rubber band and create a little burlap apron. You can totally skip that burlap step if yours is not farmhouse theme. And about three times and that will create her waist. Now at this point, she pretty much looks like a doll. You know, you may have to kind of tweak her a little bit and this looks pretty good. Now, 
You need to pay close attention to like where your flaps of your washcloth go because you don't want those. You may have to kind of twist your arms a little bit so that that rolled up part of the washcloth is, is in the right place. You don't want the top of your washcloth, you know, being on the top arms. So now it, it really looks like a doll. You're just going to have to kind of play around with the head. You know, it's not going to be a perfectly round head. And you kind of tuck in the sides and just make it look as head-like as you can. Like I said, you can always undo it and just play around till you get it looking the way you want to. All right, so now what I'm going to do is use my jute twine. The purpose of the jute twine or ribbon, all it is is covering up my yellow rubber bands. So I'm going to cut about a 12 inch piece. I actually had a little thicker jute twine in my stash and I thought I would use that instead. I'm going to put this at her neck and make a little bow and put one around her waist and it totally disguises those yellow rubber bands. All right, now I'm going to take my third rubber band and do her little wrist. Now, there, no angel would be complete without a halo. So what I decided to do is I took about 10 inches of raffia, tied a knot in the one end, braided it, and tied a knot in the other end. So, and I'm going to hot glue it into a little loop. Play around with the dish towel, try and get her head looking the way I want it to look, and hot glue that for her halo. So what all I need to do now is finish covering the wrist, and tie on my little kitchen poem, and then I'll show you how I'm going to display her in my kitchen. Got one thing, I forgot all about her wings. So if you get one of the Dollar Tree hot pads, the hook, it will be on the top. So that's even great if you want to hang her on the wall or somewhere. But all I'm going to do is scrunch it up in the center, put a rubber band two or three times around it, kind of scrunch it to the center, and make it as even a looking wings as you can. You could certainly put a piece of ribbon or something to cover up your rubber band. Just a little spot of hot glue on her back so it doesn't ruin the hot pad. You could probably put ribbon on there and just hot glue the ribbon to her back and that's going to create the wings of the angel. Okay friends, the lighting is not great indoors, but here is my farmhouse angel. I've just got her sitting in a little centerpiece that I had for our cookout a couple weeks ago. I actually just have her sitting on a little country crock is what I have her sitting on. She looks cute by the little jar and farmhouse beads. But I'll give you a little close-up. I love the little burlap skirt I added to the to the rubber band. I think that gives her a little more farmhouse look. Her little twine halo and the little poem and blue flowers match the dishcloth. As I say all the time, I hope this project inspires you. It would be so cute to make one of these with patriotic colors and ribbons. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.